Hi everybody, this is my Excel tutorial on the functions for the chi distribution. Today I will be doing um, how to get the probability for certain critical value or certain uh, test statistic that will be using the chi dist or chi distribution function and then I will I will show you how to find the um, the critical value for a certain alpha that will be using the chi inverse function. So, as in the normal distribution and the t distribution, uh, there's two sides of this coin. If you want the probability, you should use the chi distribution function, and if you want the critical value or the test st statistic, you should use the chi inverse function. Remember that the test statistic for the chi distribution is going to be given by this formula over here. So let's try to use this. So you collect a sample and that sample has 300 observations and of those 300 observations you get a sample variance of 4.5 and you're told that the population variance is four and you want to so what you want to do now is you want to test if your sample variance is above the population variance so the first thing you gotta do is get your test statistic by using this formula over here so let's say this cell is going to be equal to the degrees of freedom, that is the size of the sample, minus 1, multiplied by the ratio between the sample variance and the population variance. So that will be this guy divided by this guy over here. That is going to give us the test statistic. Now we want the p-value of that test statistic. So the function we're going to use is chi distribution. So type here chi distribution and the first argument is going to be the test statistic then the degrees of freedom and that's going to be the size of the sample minus one degree of freedom. That's going to give you the p-value. So at 5% in here you will not reject the null the null hypothesis. Why? Because this p-value is bigger than 5%. Now, the other way to test this is by looking at the critical value. So for that, we need the function chi inverse. So let's make this chi inverse. And let's find the critical value for 5%. So the first input, that is the probability, is going to be 0 0.05. And then the degrees of freedom are going to be the same as before. That is the size of the sample, minus 1. That is going to give us our critical value. And with this, we confirm what we already found. That is that we do not reject the null hypothesis. Why is that? Because this test statistic is to the left. That means that is less than this guy over here. Therefore, we are not in the rejection area. We are somewhere around here. So that's it for today. I hope you guys found this useful. If you like it, please give it a like. Until next time.